good afternoon. So, welcome to our part 2 of Homeroom Guidance Quarter 2, Module 5. High five factors in sound decision making. So, ito na yung best part of it. Okay? Best as in best. Dito, Daxon pala yung nakaraan. Okay? So, ngayon, this is the best part of our discussion. Okay? So, now, let's review what is our objective for our topic for today. Okay? At the end of this module, you are expected to, number one, describe the factors to decision making. Number two, Recognize the importance of sound decision making and number three, develop strategies in making sound decision. Got it? Alright, so please make sure that you have a pen, okay, a pen, a pen, a pen, and a notebook so that you can take note of whatever things that is important na matutunan mo sa akin today. Alright, are you ready? Alright, let's do this. And alright, so these are the things that you should consider. Kailangan mo isipin, kailangan mo itong isama. Okay, consider mo to sa paggawa ng decision. Okay? You should consider these things na isasabi ko, lima lang dito, okay, when it comes to decision making. Number one, okay, number one is the personal needs and wants. Take note of that. Personal needs and wants. Okay, so let. Okay, now, we often prioritize this as we are mostly concerned at the things that we have to satisfy during the situation. So, of course, yung mga pangangailangan natin at yung mga gusto natin, iyan yung mga bagay-bagay na nagde-decide sa atin or tumutulong para mag-decide tayo. Okay? So, example, ang kailangan mong gawin ngayon, ay ano? Ano kailangan mong gawin ngayon? Kailangan mong gawin ngayon is pumasa. Example. Okay? Kailangan magpasa ng mga output mo. Tama? Kasi hindi ka bibigyan ng grades kapag wala kang mga output. So, kakalimutan mo muna yung mga trabaho mo, yung mga laro-laro mo, kakalimutan mo muna yan. Kasi what is needed at the moment is for you to create an output to be sent to your teacher. Tama? <laughs> so that is what's needed. Okay? Kaso nga lang, yung mga nauna, okay? Kaya medyo nag, nag, ano, nagka-cramming ka ngayon. Kasi yung mga nauna, gusto mo, yung sinasatisfy mo, yung mga wants mo. Okay? So ngayon, nagka-cramming ka. Okay? So that is personal needs and wants. Dahil inisip mo ng mga una, ay, mahaba pa naman yung panahon, ganyan, ganyan. Okay? So gagawin mo yung mga wants mo muna. Okay? And ngayon, dahil kailangan na kailangan na, yan na, napuyat ka na, ganyan, ganyan. O kaya sabihin na nanay mo, oh, oh, ano na, grabe naman yung school nyo, Pinag, pinagpupuyat ka. <laughs> okay, so that is personal needs and what. So again, remember, okay, remember, dapat dito sa part na to unahin natin yung mga kailangan natin gawin. Hindi yung mga gusto mong gawin lang. Okay, guess mo? Okay, so that is personal needs and what. Take note of that, take note, take note. Okay. And number two, okay, number two, family. Opinions of the member of the family are also considered as vital in decision making, especially of our parents before making a choice. This is because we know that our parents know better about our life, therefore, their advice matters. In some cases, however, the parents have the choice over life decision of a person. Okay, bakit? So, again, we should, hindi lang yung, kasi di ba sinabi ko nga kanina, no? sinasabi na ng parents mo, na alam mo, sinasabi ko sa'yo, puro ka na lang laro, okay? puro ka na lang TikTok, puro ka na lang YouTube, puro ka na lang anime, okay? hindi ka nakinig sa advice. Okay? De, guess what? Okay? Sinas, sasabi sa'yo ng nanay mo, naku, sinasabi ko sa'yo, uh, ma malilate ka sa, naku, sinasabi ko sa'yo, naku, binigyan ka na ng payo, hindi mo dininig. Okay? O, huwag ka muna mag-girlfriend, huwag ka muna mag-boyfriend. Kasi ano lang yan, makakasagaba lang sa pag-aaral. Eh, hindi ka nakinig. So, better, again, what they are telling to you. What, ano yung, kung ano may sinasabi na magulang mo, ito ay laging makakabuti sa'yo. Kasi, bakit? Sila yung mga bag, sila yung mga nauna na eh. Sila yung mga na experience sa tao na eh. So, sumunod ka sa payo ng magulang mo. At walang ibang tao, walang ibang tao, Okay, ang pwedeng magbigay sa'yo ng advice ng matinutino, ng pinakamatino, kundi ang magulang mo. So, better. Better as your parents when it comes to decision making. But then, okay, okay, merong, merong siyempre exemption always. There is always an exemption. If you know that your parents, okay, there are some parents that really are not good in decision making. Okay? So, kailangan nating mag-analyze, ma-realize natin Okay, magkaroon tayo ng sound decision. Okay, magkaroon tayo ng realization. Kunwari, uh, nakikita mo, 
hindi sila talaga yung mga parents sa kailangan hingin ng mga payo. Merong mga factors na kay, na pwede nating hingin ang payo sa magulang natin. At alam naman naman, alam naman naman magulang mo yun dapat gawin mo eh. Okay? Alam na nila yan. Alam nila yan. Kaya binibigyan ka nila ng payo. Pero merong mga payo na hindi mo dapat sundin. Example, may mga magulang na ganito ay hindi ko nila lahat. O anak, kaysa matuto ka sa iba uminom, tuturuan kita uminom. O, dapat ba yung, dapat mo bang gawin yun? Of course na, hindi, hindi, hindi mo dapat ginagawa yun. O anak, huwag ka magmumura. O, di ba? Huwag mo gagayahin yun. Okay, bakit? There are pairs, again, sa mga magulang na nakikinig o na kung nanonood ka, okay, be a good example. Okay, kung ikaw ay pinapakitaan mo na mabuting halimbawa yung mga anak mo, then walang problema sa kanila ang pagsunod sa'yo. At ikaw din naman, okay, ikaw, okay, ikaw, ikaw, one day magiging parent ka din, sinasabi ko sa'yo. Whether you like it or not, whether you're ready or not, one day you will become a parent. And whatever you do right now, yung ginagawa mo ngayon, okay, sigurado ko, one thing is for sure, gagawin din yan na magiging anak mo. At ngayon, ang tanong ko sa'yo, ikaw ba ay isang magulang Oh, diba ngayon, isip ko, kailangan ngayon pa lang na pag-iisipan mo na kapag one day nagkaroon ako ng anak, gugustuhin na anak ko na humingi sa akin ng payo. Kasi ginagawa ko yung tama. <laughs> gets mo? So, kung, syempre, not all of us grow in a family that has a good parents. Okay? Totoo yan. Pero, it is our option, you must decide if you will become one day good parent. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. You must decide right now. Gumawa ka ngayon na decision na even though my parents is not good, even though kahit na hindi sila mahinga ng, ano, ng, ng payo, make sure that one day, okay, you will become a parent that gives a good advice and example. Tandaan mo yan. Tandaan mo yan. Okay? So number three, school and community. So, we often ponder if our decision are the same as what we have learned from our experience and interaction with society and what was taught to us through our formal education. Ang isip natin, tama ba itong ginawa kong decision? Tama ba itong ginawa kong action? Okay? Minsan, p- minsan pinag-iisipan natin kasi iba yung tinuro sa eskwela at iba rin yung nangyari sa totoong buhay. Totoo yan. Sinasabi ko, totoo yan. Okay? Bakit? Kasi, hindi lahat applicable sa totoong buhay. So, ngayon, based on our experience, doon ka ngayon, again, iba-iba tayo, iba-iba class tayong tao. Iba-iba tayo ng learning capabilities. We do have different skill set, kung tawagin. Okay? Sabihin ko yun sa'yo, meron mga tao magaling sa skills, marami silang skills, mag- meron, silang mga, meron mga tao magaling academically, meron, magkakaiba sila ng skills, meron magaling kumanta. Okay, at hindi mo po pwedeng sabihin na dahil magaling kumanta tong isa at ito hindi magaling kumanta at siya ay magaling maglaro. Example, o magaling tumugtog ng gitara, eh, mas magaling yung kumakanta. <laughs> Kasi ikaw, mas gusto mo yung kumakanta. Ganun yun. Hindi, gan- hindi ganun yun. Ah, hindi ganun yun. So, we should learn and we should adapt. Okay, we should learn to embrace other people in different, uh, in different community. Okay, we should learn from it. We should learn na, okay, kapag nandito ako sa community community na to, ito dapat ang ginagawa ko. Di ba kapag nasa simbahan ka, nakapagsimba ka na ba? Kapag nakasimba ka, syempre, kapag nagsisimba ka, hindi naman po pwedeng, ano, alam yung, baka naka-miniskirt ka, di ba? Okay? You decided na mag-miniskirt ka, mag ka, example, nakasando ka, nakasort, hindi po pwede yung doon hanggat maaari. Syempre, we respect the church. Gets mo? So, meron community, yan yung na-experience na, na mo na dapat pala, o di ba, may nakita kang o bakit ganito suot na ito? Nasa church. Diba? Parang ganun. At huwag ka rin naman magsusot ng sobrang formal kung pupunta ka lang naman sa lakwatsahan. <laughs> okay? Naka long sleeve ka pa, nakadress ka pa. Diba? E di wow. <laughs> so, again, we have learned na yung mga experiences natin, okay, eh yung mga decision making na gagawin natin, yung mga pagsasalita natin, okay, katulad sa eskwelahan, kailangan mong magsalita in the right time, okay, kapag, alam nyo ba, sa eskwela kasi ang ginagawa sa school, okay, is uh, you are trained sa school to, to become an employee. Okay? Kasi bakit? Kapag ginawa mo yung pinapagawa ng school, of course, then 
you will pass. Kapag hindi mo ginawa, ang ayaw na school is magkamali ka. Okay? Yan ang ayaw na school. Magkamali ka. Kaya kailangan mo sumunod sa lahat ng set of standards nila. Okay? Set of standards para pumasa ka. Okay? Kailangan mo sumunod sa kanilang mapatas. Sa school namin. Pero sa totoong mundo, eto ha, sabihin ko lang sa pero sa totoong mundo, kailangan mo magkamali. Kasi ibig sabihin na nagkamali ka, sumubo ka kasi. Kasi gumawa ka kasi. Okay? And ngayon, dahil nung lumupas kayo sa skwela, ha, lumupas ka na ng school, kasi tinuha ka sa school na dapat ito gawin mo, dapat lagi kang tama, dapat ganito, dapat ganyan. Okay? Kapag lumupas kayo ng skwela, grumaduate ka ngayon. Okay, grumaduate ka ngayon, ayaw mo na sumubo kasi ayaw mo magkamali. Pero ang totoo lang, kapag nagkakamali ka, doon ka may natutunan. If you fail, you learn. Okay? So that is the community, the school and community. Okay? Number four is religious affiliation. Our religious affiliation plays a significant role in our decision-making decision making process as we should always contemplate if our decisions obey the teaching and values instilled upon us by our faith. Yes, we all grow. We all grow as a praying person na magdasal ka habang bago ka kumain, magdasal ka bago matulog, pagkagising, magdasal ka. Diba, magbasa ka ng Bible, magpunta ka ng church. Pero it is just an idea. Okay. Ewan ko ba? Parang, alam mo yun, nagpunta ka ng church, pumunta ka ng church. Okay? Diba, pumapasan pa, nagpapasan pa, ano niya mga pasan, diba? Nagpapasan pa yung mga yun. Pero after nun, lalak lang. Iino. Okay. You know my point, okay? So, when it comes to decision making, tama ba yung gagawin mo? Okay? Kung ikaw ay naniniwala talaga sa Diyos, okay, if you're really, if you have a faith in God, okay, then, hindi mo isipin na, alam mo yun, hindi ka gagawa ng mga bagay-bagay na makakasama. Okay? Hindi ka gagawa ng mga bagay na hindi gugustuhin na, alam mo yun, hindi ka gagawa ng mga bagay-bagay na hindi gusto ng Diyos sa, pan, sa paniniwala at pananampalataya mo. Guess mo? At hindi, hindi ka gagawa ng masama sa kapwa mo dahil alam mo na kapag ginawa mo sa kapwa mo, parang ginawa mo na rin niya sa Diyos. Guess mo? Okay, so, sinasabi ko, religious affiliation. So, kailangan natin isabuhay yung ating pananampalataya. Okay? Hindi ko pinag-uusapan dito yung religion. Ang pinag-uusapan natin dito yung character mo as a person. Kasi ito yung malaking hulmahan natin. Sabi nga ng isang philosopher, si Thomas Aquinas. Okay? Sabi nga ni Thomas Aquinas, we aim for perfection. We pray. Okay? Nag-pray tayo, di ba? We pray that our Father who art in heaven, holy be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Sa Tagalog, Okay? Ama namin, sumasalangit ka, sundin ang loob mo, mapasabi ng kairan mo, sundin ang loob mo, dito sa lupa, parang dyan sa langit. Ang prayer, ang prayer natin, na paulit-ulit, ewan ko kung aware ka, ang prayer natin is sundin yung loob mo, dito sa lupa, para na sa... Ibig sabihin, pwede mo palang maranasan yung langit, dito sa lupa, kasi paulit-ulit natin pinipray yan. So, paano, man, paano mo maranasan ang langit, dito sa lupa? Paggawa ng mabuti. Lahat ng tao, mabuti. Mangyari ba? Yes, pinagpipray natin. Tama ba? Kasi kung sa langit mo lang mararanasan ng langit, eh di dapat ang prayer ganito. Ama namin, sumasalangit ka, sambay ng ngalan mo, sundin na loob mo dito sa lupa para lang sa langit. Sana kunin mo na kami ngayon. <laughs> para maranasan namin ang langit sa langit. Hindi. Ang prayer na yun, sinabi na sundin ng loob mo dito sa lupa parang dyan sa langit. So, yung mangyayari sa langit, pwede mangyayari sa lupa. If we are doing Okay, yung ating we, 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 we act on our faith. Okay, kung ginagawa natin yung ating, hinahakbangan natin yung ating pananampalataya. Okay, so that is decision making step. Okay, ito ba yung makakasama sa kapwa ko? Ito ba yung magugustuhan ng Diyos? Okay, kapag ginawa ko? Okay, that is basic. Basic lang yan. Basic na basic na basic. Alam mo kapag gumawa ka ng mabuti at alam mo kapag gumagawa ka ng masama at kapag pinagpatuloy mo ginawa mo masama, alam mo kung sa ka mapupunta. Okay? We all know that. At kapag gumawa ka ng mabuti, you all know where you are going to. 
Gets mo? Sana na gets mo. And number five, last one for this consideration or things to consider is media and technology. With the widespread of media forms, mass media and social media, communication is made with much ease as compared to those of the previous generation. Yes. Okay. Sa dami ng information na nakukuha mo, hindi lang sa TV, kundi sa internet, sa social media, mas marami ka na dapat alam ngayon at dapat ginagamit mo yung kaalaman mo para umaseso ka at makatulong ka sa ibang tao. Okay? Media and technology made a huge influence on how we send and receive information. Assess our situation and make judgment and choices. Example, check mo muna sa Facebook kapag, uh, kunwari, may announcement, okay? We all know na naapektuhan tayo ng mga, alam mo yun, ng mga nangyayari sa social media. Okay? Yung technology na binibigay sa atin. Okay? Even voting, pati pagboboto. Okay? We have our virtual life now sa social media. Okay? And again, we must learn to assess what to accept kasi marami fake news. Totoo yan. So we 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 should learn how to filter our decision using this media and technology. Hindi lahat tinatanggap, hindi lahat kasi yan totoo. Okay, totoo 'yon. So gamitin mo, yes, social media is good for other news, okay? So but then again, okay, do meron ka na kukuha news feed yan, hindi ibig sabihin eh tama lagi yan. You must always think about this. Is this right? I-research mo, okay? Matuto kang ano mag-filter, matuto kang mag-research, matuto kang mag-analyze kung tama ba 'yung nakita mo o nabasa mo sa Facebook o chismis lang 'yan. Okay? So that's number five. Again, quick recap, number one is needs and wants, personal needs and wants. Number two is family, number three is school and community, number four religious affiliation and number five media and technology. So, take note of that. Okay, take note maybe. Okay? The question is this. Okay, my question is this. Since in decision making, the main focus is on the solution to a particular problem or concern. Tama ba? When it comes to decision making, kaya tayo pinag-uusapan natin yung decision na yan. Kasi nga, ang focus natin, ang pinagtutuunan natin ng pasindyan is para masolusyonan yung specific na concern o problema. At siyempre, hindi lahat ng problema iisa lang ang approach. Merong iba't ibang approach siya para masolusyonan yung problema. Depende sa sitwasyon. So, kailangan tanungin natin itong mga bagay-bagay na to, okay? Ask yourself. First, what do your feelings tell you when you do certain decision? Okay? Importante yan. Okay? Kapag ginawa ko ba ito, Magiging maganda ba pakiramdam ko? Okay? Number two, is it reasonable? Number three, what are the available facts? Number four, which solution are possible? N what alternatives do you have? And what is the best solution? Okay? So, in summary, the following are the steps that we must consider. First, gather information. Okay? Number two, identify the alternatives. Number three, choose from alternatives. Number four, identify the decisions to be made. Number five, finally, is take action. So these are the things that you needed to do. Okay? Activity sheet number two is that um, found our, in activity, number one, in activity sheet two, found at the end of this module, identify and analyze a concern or problem, the factors that may influence you and your solution. Number two, Present a concern or problem that you have experienced. Number three, indicate three possible solutions or choices to the problem, include, including the positive and negative 
consequences of each solution. Number four, decide what solution you will choose. And number five, answer the activity as best as you can. On a sheet of paper, answer the following. Why should decision always be sound? Number two, when do you know that you're doing a sound decision? Share your thoughts and feelings. Recall a decision in your past that you can consider sound one. Make a simple poster to illustrate the experience. Alright, so sana may natutunan ka ngayon. Okay, at kung may natutunan ka, please do like and please do comment down yung summary, yung pinaka natutunan mo dito sa ating topic. At kung meron, at, uh, kung meron ka mga iba pang comment na muhabag-habag sa yung isipan at huwag mo kakalimutan na mag-subscribe. Okay? So yun lang. Again, this is Teacher Happy. May sabi na God bless at gumawa tayo ng desisyon na magbibigay sa atin ng magandang kinabukasan. God bless.